Hello, my name is Morgan Strong, and I'm part of the product definition team here at Disto System. Today, we'll be talking about height map creation in order to create a 3D texture in SolidWorks. In the first part of our video, we will create a height map image in SolidWorks Visualize. Then, we will use this image to create a custom textural appearance in SolidWorks. Then, we will apply the custom textural appearance to a part, and then use the 3D texture feature to create the 3D texture surface. Here is the part that we'll be using to create our height mapping. To get good resolution within our grayscale image, we want to make sure that our part in SolidWorks is quite large. You can scale the part to be about one meter wide to ensure good resolution. Our first step when we open up Visualize is to create a new project. From here, we're going to import our part. File, Import. Select the part and open. The first thing that we want to do once we've imported our part is to change our view. To change our view, we go up to the View Presets and then select Top. That will allow us to see our part from the top. The next thing that we need to do is select our render. We can go to the render selection up at the top and either select Fast or Accurate. For our case, we're going to choose Fast. Next, we go to View, Show Viewport Settings. We want to ensure that our render layer is depth. If you'd like to change your camera settings, go up to the cameras. In this case, we want to make sure that our view is in orthographic. In order to change the position of our object within our view frame, we go up and modify our camera tools. We can pan to move our object around within the frame. Additionally, we can zoom in and out in order to increase and decrease the size of our object within our frame. To render this image, we go to the Output Tools and then Save Our Project, select our Output Folder, Image Format, and then the Rendering Modes. Additionally, in the Render Settings, we can change the resolution. In this case, we want to make sure that our resolution is high enough that we minimize noise, but not so high that it slows down our program. Then start your render. This is our final rendered image. You can see that the top points are in black and the low points are in white. That way the extruded point at the maximum height will be this area here and the minimum unextruded areas will be the portions over here. To apply our new texture, first we'll select a face. Then we will select the appearances, then the face. From there, we will apply a texture. We will then go down to the image path and select our image. From there, we can adjust the image to ensure that our 3D texture is where we would like it to be. We will apply the texture. From there, we go to Insert Mesh 3D Texture. We select the body we would like this to be applied to and the texture. Change which is up and which is down. We can adjust the mesh, change the offset distance, and then apply. We can see our final model with a custom 3D texture applied. 